A wonderful thing in advanced Xilabs is that this coding trail connects to our playback history. And our playback history is what allows you to see exactly what students typed, character for character. And what's new in advanced Xilabs is we keep track of everything because of this playback history. So even each develop run, you can see what students had when they ran that development. It's as easy as clicking on the coding trail and it will open the playback history right to that moment in time. You can see what the code looked like. And then as you navigate through the, through the playback history, you can see when a student pastes some code, multiple characters will come in versus typing code where it's one character at a time. And yes, you can even see who edits the work in the playback history. So if you had a TA come in and maybe check out the student's code, type something, you would actually see that action happen in the playback history versus what the student typed. So what you typed, a TA or the student will actually show who did that in the workspace. The, what we recommend is that you run that similarity detection. When you find a case, you can now open up the playback history and you can investigate how the students solved the problem. Did they just paste code in? Did they try something and it didn't work, erase everything, and then paste some code in? That's now similar to their, to their fellow student. And you can also see the pattern of how many times they actually ran the code versus running the order grader.